Hello everyone, welcome back to Shou Shou Chinese, Shou Shou Zhongwen. I'm Shou, your Chinese native speaking teacher living in Bangkok, Thailand. Today we're gonna talk about zhe and I know what you're thinking. Eh? Shou Shou Chinese, 更新视频了. How to use zhe? I already know that. 等一下, Wait a minute. this was also what I thought. Until last week, when I was teaching my intermediate student from the conversation group lesson, I realized that everybody thought that they know how to use zhe, but when it comes to really use it, not many people can use it correctly. So today, I'm going to talk you through zhe systematically. The main idea of using zhe is you put zhe after a verb and make this active verb becomes a stative verb. What does that mean? Let me show you some examples. 做 is an action. You have to move. While 做着 is a state. Likewise, 站 is an action. 站着 is a state. So you can say 我喜欢站着我不喜欢坐着 穿 is an action. 穿着 is a state. You can say 他穿着一件粉红色的衣服. 他穿着一件粉红色的衣服. 开门 is an action. 门开着 is the state of the door opening. Now you understand the main idea of 这, we use 这 to show a state. Let me show you some more specific usages. Imagine that you walk into a room and you see this. How do you describe the picture? First of all, you can say 墙上有一幅画 There is a painting on the wall to show the existence of the painting. But you can also say 墙上挂着一幅画 墙上挂着一幅画 to show the state of the painting hanging on the wall. That means you can use verb 这 to replace 有 and show the state of the object placing in this place. Some other examples are 桌子上放着一些水果 一些水果床上躺着一个人床上躺着一个人 So we can use verb 这 to replace 有 to show a more vivid picture of what you see. 对不起 She's doing two actions. More precisely, she's saying sorry in the state of crying. According to the golden rule or the main logic of Chinese sentence structure that we put the core action or the main action at the end of the sentence, we need to say she in the state of crying, saying sorry. 她哭着说对不起 她哭着说对不起 if you want to say somebody is doing something in a certain state, or you want to use one verb to describe how another action is performed, stative verb plus zhe plus active verb is what you want to use. I will show you three pictures. Try to use zhe to describe them. Taman 站着聊天 or 他们喝着咖啡聊天 他们喝着咖啡聊天 孩子躺着玩手机 孩子躺着玩手机 
I guess this one is what you want to know the most. Zhe can also indicate that an action is in progress. For example, 孩子们跑着跳着十分高兴孩子们跑着跳着十分高兴 or 外面下着雨 外面下着雨 or 我听着音乐想着我的小时候 OK, I know your question is what is the difference between 在 and 这? Listen, let's compare a progressing action with a continuous video. Say, 听音乐 Now your friends text you and ask you what are you doing? You look at your memory from 5 seconds ago. Capture one screenshot and send the information of the screenshot to your friend. 我在听音乐 我在听音乐 在 plus verb is like take a screenshot of a continuous video 看外面在下雨 他在睡觉安静点 while zhe is you describing the whole continuous video to others 那天外面下着雨 我走着走着就迷路了。那天外面下着雨，我走着走着就迷路了。昨天我正听着音乐，我的朋友给我发信息。昨天我正听着音乐，我的朋友给我发信息。is there a video already playing in your head? Now it's time for a recap. The most important idea is zhe indicates a state. We put it after the verb to show that an action won't just happen and stop immediately. It will continue for a while. We can also use location plus verb zhe plus an object to show that the object is in the state of placing in this place. And number three, we can use a stative verb plus zhe plus an active verb to show how one action is performed in a certain state. We can also use zhe to indicate a continuous state. It's like playing the whole video instead of just take a screenshot. Alright, so this is all the content of today's video. If you like this video, please hit on thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out any great chance to improve your Chinese. I'm sure from 说说中文, I will see you in my next video. 再见!